everyone, and welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. Hey, what we're going to do in this video is I caught a bunch of them northern pike when I was ice fishing. And uh, we did a video on canning them with the Y bones in, but some of them I filleted out and took the Y bones out. I like I'm going to just fry them up. But I found a neat recipe called Poor Man's Lobster, which is supposed to take this northern pike. We cut it into chunks. We're going to boil it in a kind of a brine, but not really, just for a short time. And then we're going to put it with some butter and some garlic. And we're going to give this a try because, um, I mean, just anything with the northern that is different like that, I really like to try. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Okay, so in this recipe it calls for two quarts of water. Once we have our water in the pan, we're going to just heat, get this going. And once it heats up to boiling, uh, we're going to add in a couple of ingredients. But meanwhile, we have to get the fish cut up. Okay, so like I said, this is just northern pike. Uh, you can tell that I cut the Y bones out because we don't have that center section. We just want to cut this into like one inch chunks or a little bit bigger. Just bite sized pieces. Well, the northern is all cut up now. That's perfect timing. N nothing is added to this at all. That's just the fish cut up. The water just come to a boil, so now let's go add our stuff there. Now that our water is boiling, we're going to add one cup of sugar and one teaspoon of parsley flakes. And we're going to mix that all up until the sugar is dissolved. Now once that sugar is dissolved, we're just going to take and add our northern chunks in here. Bring that back up to a boil. And we're just going to watch this northern until it's all white and it's cooked and flaky. And then we're going to pull it off and drain it. Well, when I'm waiting for that to come back to a boil, I'm going to take some butter. I'm going to put it in the microwave and just get this all softened and liquid. Now I put in, I don't know, three quarters of a stick of butter. You can do whatever you want to. It's just, I mean, I'm going to need more butter to eat all this stuff, but uh, that's how much I'm putting in. All right, so there's my butter that's been liquefied. Now you can add garlic salt or garlic powder, whatever you want. I am opting for garlic powder. I can always add salt to it. Uh, if I use garlic salt, every time I use garlic salt, it seems like it gets too salty. And I'm not big on a huge garlicky taste either, so I'm just going to put a little in there like so. We'll mix that in, and if I want to add more, I can. Okay, I think we'll pull one of these out. See if it's cooked through and if it flakes. It definitely, see that? That's done. All right, I'm going to pull this off now. I'm going to just dump it through a colander to get the water out of it, and we'll be right back. Well, that's what it looks like when it's all done. That recipe, 10 minutes maybe? <laughs> it's really simple. So let's just let that cool down for a second, and I'll give it a try. Okay, I'm ready to give this a try. They say you can drizzle the butter over the whole thing or just dip it. I'm going for the dip. It's really, really good. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. Hold on one second. Since I didn't use garlic salt, like I said, I might need to add some. The fish has a sweet taste to it that it doesn't usually have, but it's not overpoweringly sweet at all. That is really good. If you guys watch the channel, I've done several different videos with different kind of northern. The one with the cheese puffs on it, that was really good. I just did a canned northern one. That's good, but it did kind of taste like kippered herring. So it's super good, but it's not something you could eat every day. You know, you, I don't know, we have kipper snacks when I go hunting, and so once or twice a year when I buy them is good enough. This is a meal I could eat every single day. Very, very good. Hope you guys try this. It was super simple. Thanks a lot for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel. Oh, and one more thing. It's called Poor Man's Lobster. Does it taste like lobster? I don't have a clue. I never had lobster before. When I went to Louisiana, I think I had every single type of seafood. I did not have any lobster. Maybe I have to go to the East Coast for that. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is good.